Welcome in to game number four from the City of London Academy Basketball. Is the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brand? Game four of week three. We've got Hoops Space taking on the City of London Academy. Hoops Space in black, their roster. Number two is Louis Norton Cuffey. Number four, Tola Akiki. Number seven, Cyrus Cato. Number eight, Josh Lessie. Elias Tyro in 12. Charles Yassi Pepin in 10. Jules Dang Okodo is in six. Melly Moreau in 11. Moses Gordon in three, Matty Savane in nine, and Jordan Gray, he's wearing one. The City of London Academy in red, player coach Brian Nguru in two, Edmund Lucas in ten, AJ Roberts in nine, Jordan Williams in four, Kamar Hawes in six, Sultan Adewale five, Max Coop one, Rowan Butler in three, and they have had a late addition if uh, number 11, Maya one, Mohammed. Fives are on the floor for both teams. So Brian and Guru, Ed Lucas, AJ Roberts, Sultan Adwale. And Rowan Butler are the five on the floor for Cola. For hoop space is number one, Jordan Gray. Number nine, Matty Savane. Number 11, Melky Moreau. Number 12, Ines Saiwo. And number four, Tola uh, Kiki. Remember, the first 38 minutes of today will be running clock. So ten, four 10 minute quarters, the clock will not stop until the final two minutes of action. We've got short intermissions and a short half time. No free throws until that final two minutes. Ed Lucas will get us underway. Cola with the first possession of the game. AJ Roberts, step back, triples on the way. Can't go. That's been pulled down by Elias Taiwo. Tolera Kiki taking it up the floor. Moreau gets to the corner. Great drive, great try to go for the. Well, he uses the rim for protection. Tolera Kiki just off the mark. Guru sends it long. Off the glass, that's light work. Sultan Adewale. All that young bloods, the GB under 16. Been playing his high school basketball for Newman Goretti in South Philadelphia. Sultan Adewale. And it's Adewale once more. Oh, great defense makes even better offense. That's his 7 8 was solid. Adewale able to finish over him. Tolera Kiki going inside. High, that's out of the hands. But it's still hoop space ball. Two can't go. Nguru puts on the burners. Fouled in the act of shooting. So it's a one point foul. Kick you outside for hoop space. The score is zero to five. And a foul in the act of shooting. Foul's been called on number five, Sultan Adewale. So that's one point to hoop space. Remember, we're not having free throws until the final two minutes of the game. So if you're fouled in the act of shooting and miss, you are awarded one point less than what that shot is worth. If you score, you get the other one. Simple example, you're shooting a two. If you miss, you get one point. If you make it, you get three. All oh, ball from AJ Roberts, but a tough finish. 
from Moreau. Moreau gets it back. Great, just a little tap there from Rowan Butler. As Nguru just rattles out on him. Tarakiki, can he fire any better? Not this time. Tries to send it back in. Straight into the hands of Franklin Agu, who's just played in that brilliant game three. And if you missed it, as Ed Lucas, just off the mark, if you missed game three or any game from the Who Six Pro Am Summer League, make sure that you go back and watch it on our YouTube channel, youtube.com for slash Hoops Fix. And Sunguru taking up the floor. Lost the footing for just a moment, it remains in possession. AJ Roberts to the corner, the triple. Just bounces out on him, Adewale, once again, Sultan Adewale show, early in this one, three plays, eight. Sodor Akiki, denied, denied again, tries to send it, gets to the corner, three's on the way, bit too strong there for Moreau, Ed Lucas, the bad man goes inside, kicks out, AJ Roberts, can't go, his former teammate at the London City Royals, Moreau, lost the footing, went down under his own steam, gets back under his own steam, Brian and Guru the other way, mid-range, gets him jumping, puts up the triple, a little too strong, Sultan Adewale, <laughs> they just have to foul him, that's gone on 12, it is Tyrell. Substitution on the floor. Checking in for the first time, Charles Yassi Pepin. Sitting down was Matty Savanek. Tough. So substitutions on the floor for Cola. Sitting down is Sultan Adewale. Checking it is Jordan Williams and Kamal Hawes. Brandon Guru also sitting down. Bad man Ed Lucas. Just off the mark from three. Playing his uh, basketball in France last season. Just off the arm there from Moreau. Six plays, nine. So your team in red. The City of London Academy, hometown team, are up by three. And it remains that way. As well, and Butler is triple just off the mark. Tyler Akiki. Played his game at Oakland Wolves last year in D1. And yet BBL experience though, as triple just short. Akiki, then to the top. Jordan Gray, drives, puts it up, puts it down, Jordan Gray. The Essex Rebels own Jordan Gray. Gets us to within one. Eight plays nine, hit space, still trail down by one to Cola. Jordan Williams. Kicks out, Butler. Just off the mark, Jordan Gray. Can he give his side the lead? Gray! Can! I wanted to see what AJ Roberts was going to do on the defense, held it and then put it up, put it down. Ed Lucas, it's cold. Oh, it has it stripped. I think it was Toller Akiki. Toller Akiki, hands off. Moreau. Oh, Moreau awarded the one point. Foul called on AJ Roberts. Needed a uh, quick adjustment from AJ Roberts. 
So 10 plays 9. Eleven plays nine. It was added, so the foul awarded to a or oh, against AJ Roberts on that Moreau dunk attempt. Cuts in, spin move, kicks out to the top. AJ Roberts gathers in the triple. Can't put it down. Moreau pulls down that ball. Good back and forth, and a good finish. Charles Yassi Pepe, deep space. Really have had much the better of the latter half of this first quarter of action. John Williams driving in, met in the rim, that's a three-point play. Puts it down, fouled by Charles Yassin Pepin. So 13 plays 12. So one-point contest. You might just be able to hear the coaching instruction of Brian and Guru. It's our second team foul for Kohler. Gone on Kamar Horse. Charles Yassin Pepe. Oh, a million miles away on the three point effort. Talk to Jordan Williams about it. Jordan Williams doesn't put up many threes, but hats in his locker as Ed Lucas, known for his threes, gets it done inside. Dollar Kiki puts up the triple, puts down the triple. Final minute of quarter number one. Hoop space. Have the two point lead. Williams sets it over the top. To AJ Roberts. Roberts going to work. Gets it got the glass. We're tied at 16. Final 30 seconds. Dollar Kiki has that strip, but it's still in the hands of Hoop Space. Norton Cuffey. Sent all the way back. Triples on the way. Oh, he was on line. Just a touch too strong, I think. Ten seconds, AJ Roberts. Turned over. Tyler and Kiki. Gently lays it in. Two seconds to shoot it. And that's going to do it at the end of quarter number one. Hoop space, lead it. 18 to 16 over Cola. Game four, Hoopsticks Pro Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan, continues in just a minute. Back inside the City of London Academy. Game four of week three of the Hoop Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022. Ten more minutes until the half time interval. Don Cuffey. Good hit from the elbow. 20 on the board now for Hoop Space. Kohler had a really strong start and Hoop Space came back at them in a big way and now they've got the four point advantage, their biggest lead of the game. And it's still rejected at the 
<laughs> right underneath. But it still goes. Jordan Gray really having an impressive showing so far. Just off the mark with that triple, Kamal Hall. Tyler Akiki. Nice, Mohammed went for the swipe there. Moreau. Doesn't get it to go off the glass. Live rims in fever. Live rims. And Horse heading to the basket. Foul. So that's going to be a one point foul. So 22 plays 17. Checking into the contest. Moses Gordon. His first bit of action today. As does Jules Danga Kodo. Former London City Royal, former London Lion star, Jules Dangakoto. GB International, played all over Europe. I remember he went to Slovenia at age 15, took a very different route to a lot of people, to a lot of players. That's Norton Cuffey. Can't get it to go from three point land. Sultan Adewale back into the game. For Kola. He was could not miss in the opening minutes of this game. That's a great pass. What can they do with it? Well, it's a foul. It's on the floor. So blocking foul remains. So Bahos has to take out the earrings so he's forced to sub out Josh Lefty checking in for Tola Rikiki his first bit of action in the contest Jordan Williams ready to get his back underway 7.06 left in quarter number two in game four heaps fixed power and that's been turned over Jules Dangakoda going to take it to the hole and lays it in Seven point advantage. Ed Lucas, AJ Roberts about to check in for Cola along with their player coach Brian and Guru. Norton Cuffey still can't get it to go from outside. He's coming for him though, you know that. Mohammed turns it over into the hands of Jules Dangakoda. Pushing the tempo, kicks it. Out it goes, three's on the way. Just off the mark from Charles Yassi Pepin. He really likes it and he really wants one to go. I think the roof might come off this place if it does. Jules Dangakoda, backing him down, backing him down. Tries to hook it over him. No one cuffy. The double comes. Foul called on red one. That's Max Coupe. Or Max Coupe. So, Nguru, Roberts, and Lucas into the ball game. Along with Jordan Williams and Sultan Adewale. Serious, serious sound on this basketball floor as it has been all day and will remain to be. We've got two more games after this one. 24 second violation. Great com communication needed there by Hoopspace bench and coaches. Let's play, it's their responsibility as well. AJ Roberts denied. Gets it to go. Gets the shot off at least. Fouled by his. Uh, former London City Royals teammate, Jules Dangakodo. 24 plays, 18, that's a one point foul. Oh, triple! Holden gets it back. Jules Dangakodo lights it out from outside, 27 plays, 18. Brandon Goru into the land of the Giants. Very nearly gets his own rebound. 
elevation he got. But as it is, Norton Cuffey going the other way. Jules Duncan Kodo pulls up. Can't go into the hands of Ed Lucas. The whole who space. Bench looked like they're about to mop the court in that way. Foul called. On the act, in the act of shooting. So one point goes to Kohler. Foul on Moses Gordon, his first in, in the contest. Step back, long two off the mark. AJ Roberts taking it the other way. Tries to find Sultan Adewale. Just asked a little bit much of him there. Beautiful finish inside. Josh Lessie. Really good ball movement by Hoopspace. Stretching their legs now. The lead is up to 10. Brian and Guru rejected by Savane into the hands of Jules Dangakodo. Outside Norton Cuffey. That's been coming and it goes Louis Norton Cuffey. Williams trying to go to work now on Savane. Gives it to Sultan Adewale. Spin move. Puts it off the glass. It's a foul. So it's a one point foul. It's in the act of shooting. And a timeout has been called by Kohler as they're talking things over. We're going to take a quick break. Kohler takes timeout. The score 32 19 to Hoopsburg. We'll be right back. Welcome back inside. Hoops Space have a strong lead right now. 32 19 over Kohler. As we saw in the opening game of the day, leads don't mean nothing in this gym. Early. What a comeback victory that was in the first game of the day. Did you miss it? That's okay. That's all right. You can watch it back later on over on youtube.com forward slash Hoops Fix. Check out at the end of today's action. We've got two more games. Coming up for you today, game five, TBC, Thames Valley Cavaliers taking on the Galicia Boys. Final game of day, run and jump taking on London United as it is right now. Hoop Space taking on Cola. Game four, we've got two and a half minutes left in the first half. Has uh, physical defense from Jordan Williams. Not what we'd call legal defense from Jordan Williams. So that's going to be one point awarded to Hoop Space. The clock stays running. Substitutions coming from Hoop Space. So Tolera Kiki back into the contest, as is Melky Moreau. We're seeing Cyrus Cato as well. AJ Roberts gets it going, gets it inside. That's a good basket. The lead just 12 now for Hoop Space. Kohler really need a stop and then another make. 
Tries to send it baseline, doesn't go. Jordan Williams. 1.15 left in the period. Brandon Kuru. Finds Williams, met by Savane. Wanted the goal, Ted, wasn't coming. Three's gonna not go from Jules Dangakodo. Instead, he finds a lane, tries to put it home. And Guru got Adewale with him, takes it alone. In the act of shooting, he was fouled. That's gonna be one point. Foul called on number seven, Cyrus Cato, picking up his first personal. That is the fifth foul on Hoop Space, so that should be two points to Cola. Thirty seconds left in this first half of action here. Tolarakiki sends it to the corner, stepped out of bounds. Cyrus Cato. AJ Roberts. Got to get it inbound, he does. 16 to shoot it. 10 on the clock. Lucas, guarded by Tolarakiki. Step back, long three. Doesn't go. But that's going to do it at the end of the first half. Hoop Space will lead it 33 to 24 over Kohler. Game. Three, game four, rather, of week three of the Hoop Sticks Pro Am Summer League 2022. We'll be back in about three minutes' time for the second half. We are getting ready for the second half of action here. Hoop Space in the lead. 33 to 24 over Cola. Quick look at the start. Stoddard Kiki leading the way in scoring for Hoop Space. Sultan Adewale with his eight points leading the way for his Cola City of London Academy. The hometown team, the hosts of us for this season's Hoop Fix. From Summer League, brought to you by Jordan Brent. So both sides have had a couple of moments to uh, 
acclimate themselves to their to which hoops they're shooting at. And we're about to get back underway. So the difference is nine points. That is absolutely nothing in a game of basketball. We all know that. And it isn't even anything in this Hoops Fix Pro-Am Summer League. Just ask. First game of the day, Team Diamond. So out of bounds on the first play up the floor for Cola. Hoops Fix going to take it back down. Tyro finds Jordan Gray. Gray, really impressive start to the game for Jordan Gray. Kicks to the corner with Tolera Kiki. Kiki sends it inside. Savane against Sultan Adewale. Great stand by Adewale. He's been batted around cleanly enough. No foul. Goes back inside. Elias Tyro. And he finds Savane. Puts it off the board. Again, opening minutes in this game with Paul Kohler. And what do they do? They fed Sultan Adewale, who's cutting to the rim now. Gives it to AJ Roberts instead. Nets the triple, AJ Roberts. 35 plays 27. As Luke is going to pick up Tolera Kiki. Now Sultan. 7 8. Likes his matchup. Now they switch. Moreau. Goes through the legs of Patrick, everybody. Oh, beautiful through the legs. Bounce pass by Savane. Moreau's effort didn't go. Tolera Kiki, too strong off the backboard. Moreau. Still Moreau, drives inside, loses out. And then transition, it's going to be Sultan Adewale. Throws it down. That's his 10th point in the contest. 35 plays 29. That is much more like it from Kohler. Step back. Fade away, can't go. He's going to stay with him space. Dollar Kiki. Time his teammates. Just calm down. Long way to go. Former Worcester Wolves player. Also played for... Plymouth Raiders up in the BBL shots on the way just off the mark there from Jordan Gray good pull down rebound Elias Tywell a oh, staple to the backboard by Sultan Adewale who lets him know about it on the way back up the floor AJ Roberts fouled as he's putting that one home that's a three point play the foul called on Jordan Gray. As Charles Yessi Papa checking into the contest for Matty Savane. Just like that, it's a three point contest. Huge space still up. 35 32 over Kohler, but this is a much better, much improved Kohler performance we're seeing in this second half. Gray trying to send it underneath to Yessi Papa. Akiki keeps it in bounds. Now he drives on Lucas. Great defensive stand for Lucas. Into the hands of Yessi Papa. Shot goes up at the buzzer. Good for three. It is Tywo. The Hamel Storm D3 prospect. Deep space. Stretching their legs now. Up by five. And Guru. Just keeps it alive. That's out the hands. Tolerakiki sends it inside. Moreau can't get it to go. Tolerakiki pulls down another rebound. And then showing that experience, showing that poise. Moreau, good on the bounce pass. Assist from Tolerakiki. Brian Guru at the break. A little too strong on the triple. Good find from AJ Roberts. Oh, stuff. 
are stripped. Sorry, I thought for a half second there we were about to see a foul call. So stripped by AJ Roberts, but it did go out of bounds. So it's going to remain hoop space. They're at 40 to 32. So after a really strong start to the third by Kohler, now hoop space. They're starting to stretch their legs a little bit once more. Moreau sits down. Kamal Horse is going to check in for Brian and Guru for Kohler. John Williams subbing in as well. He replaces Butler. Josh Rassi into the game for Moreau for hoop space. Can't get it to go. Time. Charles Jesse Papa. Oh, brilliant try. Tries to hand off though to Sultan Adewale. Defenders were one step ahead of him. Jordan Gray gets space, separation. Charles Jesse Papa and puts it home. And again, he lets uh, Jordan Williams know. Lucas goes to work on Tolera Kiki, just short from outside. AJ Roberts with the rebound, the pullback is good for two. Kohler still battling. Jordan Gray. Jesse Pepin. Jesse to go. Find him at the stripe. You find him buckets right now. Back to ten. Spin move, can't get the finish to go, really strong defense, AJ Roberts triple, too strong. Todorakiki just keeps it inbound, so he's gone hard out of play, think he's okay. Clyde a couple of uh, people in the front and second row there. Kiki subs out the game. <laughs> it really is. Stan, aka Hoops by Huncho. And sending people in the house along with plus this awesome basketball that we've been treated to. Tries to get that inside pass to Josh Lessie. Didn't quite come off. AJ Roberts. Take it up the floor. Still with Roberts. Ah, oh, the double comes. Ah, oh, throws down. Beautiful jam. And there's Taiwo. So subs coming for Kohler, but this is all huge space right now. They're up by 12. Adewale going to work. Basket no good, but it was a push by Jules Dangakodo. Adewale to sit down, checking in, Mayawan Mohamed. So 2.16 left in the third, 12 point the difference, 46 plays, 34. Everybody is here. For this one, John Williams going to work, puts it lefty finish over the top, that's good. Two minutes left in the third period of play. Jules Dankakoto taking over the timeline for each place. Kicks to the corner. Three's on the way. Three is good. Louis Norton, Cuffy from the corner. Beautiful finish. How does Koda respond? They find AJ Roberts. He kicks back out. The triple's on the way. Mohamed's too strong with that three point effort. Norton Coffey puts it up, puts it down, back to back. A timeout has been called by Kohler. They've got one more left in the game. 52-36 with 1.23 to go in the third period. We'll be right back.
the Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan. Again, a huge thank you to Paige Robinson who is running things on the live stream today and a huge thanks to everybody involved in making the Hoops Fix Pro-Amp Summer League brought to you by Jordan Brand. The absolute must-see event it is. Just look at the crowd that has assembled in the Cola Basketball Academy as Ed Lucas elevating, couldn't finish though. Jules Dangakoda taking it the other way, gives to Charles Yesin Papan. Oh, he buns in the triple. You know it was coming. And he puts it home. Final minute of quarter number three. Kicks to the corner. Stacked out of bound. Heel just, just touched that line. Come on, Halls. Forty seconds. Left in the third. Triples on the way. Can't go. He was looking for back to back to back. Norton Guffey, 30 seconds. Mohammed driving. So a foul called on Jules Danga Kodo. He's checked that. That's his third. So third foul. One point goes to Cola. Remember, final period of play. We're going to have eight minutes of running clock. Two minutes, final two minutes of just normal regulation basketball. Norton Cuffey put on the burners. Great change of pace. Elevated for the shot. It didn't go. And at the end of three, hoop space up 55 37 over Cola. We got a couple half minutes break. Cola, they're just trying to communicate amongst themselves exactly what they need to do to turn this around. Again, early, they're going inside to Sultan Adewale, and that worked very, very, very effectively. Cannot stress how effectively that worked early doors, but since then, they've been denied the paint quite uh, successfully by Hoopspace and the Hoopspace coaches, uh, Junior Ottony, Joel Afule, and Matthew Ullman. They have denied, denied, denied them inside, sent them outside. Okay, we've got some fantastic three-point shoots on this team. The bad man, Ed Lucas, AJ Robert, just to name two of their excellent three-point shooters. But they've struggled to convert all of those opportunities in the way that I think they're expecting them to. Deep space. I've denied space inside, made things difficult off the line. And uh, when they've had looks, they've made them. Okay, Louis Norton Cuffey just whilst it was getting a bit tasty. He banged in two back-to-back -back triples and he's in the corner under pressure, stepped out of bounds. As we are underway in the fourth, 9.50 left in the contest. Remember, eight minutes, that clock will run. Final two minutes, it's just FIBA basketball, baby. Oh, the hammer going in, met by the land of the Giants. Foul, so that's going to be one point to his side, to Cola. So the foul was awarded to Moses Gordon. The table weren't 100% uh, clear on the call. As Cyrus Cato checks in for Josh Lessie. 
Messi played some time with the London Spartans. Jules Danger Kodo driving inside into the paint, kicks to the corner. Norton Cuffey just off the mark with the triple. Norton Cuffey now. Great ball movement, triples on the way. Kairos Kato. Nothing but string on that one. 20 points the difference. Huge space in control of this. It's been turned over. Norton Cuffey. Bounce pass to the corner, back out to the top. Batten away in the corner. Stepped out of bounds, stepped on the line, so we've got three changes coming. So Coop sits down, Mohammed sits down, Mahal sits down. Checking into the game, Ed Lucas, Brandon Guru, EJ Roberts. AJ Roberts driving in, tries to put it off the glass. Adewale had a hand in there, but couldn't reclaim it for Kola. 20 points, still the difference. Hoop space. Hit the top. George Dangakoda gets that pass out he wanted. Trying to go to work on Adewale. Step back, triple. Sorry. Two points, long, two goals. 60 to 38. 60 to 40, Brian and Guru banging bodies down low. Goes Yassi Pepin, met by AJ Roberts. Sorry, AJ Lucas rather. And a travel is the call. Went up with it, came down with it, went back up. Moses Gordon turns it over. Adewale, AJ Roberts can't get the triple to go. Pulls it in. Ed Lucas. These two have got each other. Polenzi and the triple's good in the face of Jules Dangakodo. He'll get that back, no doubt. Don Cuffy can't get to get his own rebound though. Only good space player there. Out of play. I want to bring your attention back to the Adewale play down on the offensive end. It was about two possessions ago. But you saw as soon as Adewale got possession, it looked like he was about to go inside. What happened? Three players crowded him. Ball kicked out to AJ Roberts, and that's where opportunity is going to come from Cola. But they've got to look to penetrate and drive and kick if they want to get anything from this contest right now. That's exactly what they're doing. Ed Lucas. He's been matched up, going inside. Three-point play. Foul called against Moses Gordon. Get three points however you can get them. So it's an and one play. 14 points to the difference. Hoops space still in the lead. So in control. They're going to need some stops or makes of their own. That'll do nicely. Lovely finish, Melky Moreau. Ed Lucas fouled. The Hoops plays bench not buying it. Rowan Butler to check in. At his earliest convenience, and he does. He's going to sit down. He's coming in for Jordan Williams. He is. 62 plays 47. Again, obliged to let you know the Husky is still in attendance here. So it's Kato. Can get that pass on line, on target. And a bounce. It's Cola Ball. Guru sends it inside. Adewale can't get it to go. Under great pressure. And it goes with huge space. The, it does stay with hoop space. Kodo trying to put on the full court pressure. 
Kota Akiki able to bring the ball all the way up the floor. Moreau, oh ball from AJ Roberts is the call, put it up and it goes down. So it's a goal 10 was the original call. So count two points to Rowan Butler. Two plays 49. 340. 330 now. Bernard Guru subbed out. He's going to sub straight back in. Sort of. Uh, Communication breakdown on that one. Chalk that one up as so it's a triple off the mark from Lauren Cuffey. But what an impact he's had on his game. Toller and Kiki now. Slowing things down. Veteran at just 24. Triple doesn't go. Long pass out. AJ Roberts has met it. The strike. Butler. Oh, going to work. Had it stripped, AJ Roberts. So it's a foul on Louis Norton Cuffey. Alwali sits down, Mohammed sits down. 2.32, the clock has stopped. Timeout has been taken by Hoop Space. As the players talk it over, we're going to take a quick break. 62 plays, 49. Game four, week three, Hoopstix Pro Am Sunday brought to you by Jordan. Welcome back inside the City of London Basketball Academy 232 to play in this one. It's going to go down to the wire, I suspect. Hoop Space, four fouls on them, so they're in the uh, penalty. That can make things very interesting, at least for the next 32 seconds. Cola in possession. Ed Lucas. How a three point play would work right now. Gives it to Nguru. The coach can't get it to go from outside. And now Tolera Kiki. Direct in traffic. Norton Cuffey keeps it alive. Color Akiki tries to hand off inside. Has to do it himself. Puts it down himself. What's that make there the ball game? We'll find out. We're inside two minutes now, so it's regulation basketball. The clock will stop. We will have free throws. Nguru drives, kicks. Gets it back at the corner. Going to work. Triples on the way. It's off the mark. Pulled down by Moses Gordon. Kiki. They get over the timeline. Three's on the way. Can't go that time. Gray. But a huge put back. Gordon. Guru off the mark from three point land. Dollar Akiki sending it down low. Oh, the spin move. Travel is the call. So, no basket. He spent a fair amount of time on that rim as well. So, substitutions. So Corsa sits down. Yes, he Pepin saying check in back into the contest. Just over a minute in change. Left in this one. 
Hey, Lucas. Can't quite that, that one to go. Spend a lot of time working on training with his brother, the personal trainer, Nate Lucas. Uh, fellow Rube aficionado. Tyler Akiki pulls up from three. Just a bit too strong. Rowan Butler kicks to the corner. Ed Lucas step back, triples on the way. Just short. Final 30 seconds. Jordan Gray. Still Jordan Gray gets inside. Foul in the act of shooting. So he heads to the stripe. He's going to get two shots. That's the first team foul on Cola in the fourth. So 19.4 to play. Two shots coming up for Jordan Gray. First is good. Knocks down the second. 68 plays 49. The shot clock is turned off. AJ Roberts. Battling. Turns it over. Long, deep, deep three. Not a million miles away, but that's going to do it. Noin Cuffey playing for it from the mid-court. That's going to do it. Hit space. Ah, oh, the victors. 68-49 over Cola. In game four of the 2022 Hugh 6 Pro-Am Summer League. A couple of the key performers in this contest. Charles Yassi Pepin. He had himself problem points. AJ Roberts by his side. Cola with 13. Norton Cuffey and Ed Lucas both had 11. Tola Kiki. Had a really strong performance. 9.7 rebounds. And really, the thing about Tolerakiki's game today, it was measured, it was mature, it was calm, it was everything it needed to be to take his side to victory. We've got two more games left today. Game five coming up in a couple of minutes' time. Tens Valley Cavaliers are taking on the Glacier Boys. Join us for that one from Game number four, Hoops Space took the victory, 68-49 over Cola in the Hoops Space. Pro Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brown.